All right, let's get to uh, a mad dash. Uh, j and CEO joined CNBC yesterday. Yes, you were talking about talc. You've got more on that. Yeah, I asked him a question not about ovarian and talc, where they've been winning a series of cases, 16 in the last 17. I asked about mesothelioma, which is also part of the overall arching uh, package that J&J wants to pay off. But last night, one of the reasons I asked for it, and I think he had a problem with his audio for that particular moment. Yes, he did, Was that I asked about mesothelioma. And sure enough, last night, a jury came down in Oregon and uh, ordered J&J to pay $260 million to a woman who said that she developed mesothelioma uh, by inhaling talc. Uh, 200, now, this is what's really interesting, David. $60 million in compensatory, $200 million in punitive. So um, now, the so stock's a, not reacting because I think people don't know about it. They don't? You no. think it's a continued risk then, this litigation? I we're have not to say talking, it is. we're talking about a different, right? Not what they have settled on. Right. Well, they haven't, there's still no settlement agreement. They're Sorry, trying. Correct. They need 75%. Now, mesothelioma would be com- included. Yes. Again, these are not ovarian. Right. The last one was also mesothelioma. But I will say, David, you cannot dismiss the existential nature of these big lawsuits because we know not to dismiss asbestos as a problem.